G'day, I'm Kevin Young. I'm Australia's most successful property investor, but I started out poor, and I'm constantly being asked, how do you do it? How do you get there? You ask me, I'll give you the solutions. Between us, we'll make you wealthy. Hey everyone, it's Roxy here. Welcome to this week's episode of Ask Kevin Young, and we are talking about pets in property this week. Should you have pets in property, Roxy? Yes, for sure. I love dogs, I love cats. <laughs> All right, let's get into it, Kevin. Of course, I look after them, and I'm much better than kids. Kids, particularly teenagers, damage properties. I don't, do you? Of course you don't. So, I think it's about 60% of people own a dog. So if you say no to cats or dogs, then you're saying no to 60% of potential tenants. Mm -hmm. And you're getting a vacancy, and people have gone broke because they can't find tenants. So, yep to pets, never had a problem. And I think the law is about up to 300 millimeters on the shoulder. So don't get an elephant, I think they'll do a bit of damage. What about ducks and chickens and snakes? I like chickens, we've got, we've got one of our investment houses that have got uh, ducks in them and another one with chooks in it and uh, occasionally get an egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so that was our episode about having pets in your properties and it's a thumbs up from us. <laughs> and a thumbs up from uh, Princess. <laughs> <laughs>